Hi guys, it's Joe. So I wanted to share with you my I Am Roses September challenge project and the theme is steampunk and the challenge is to include butterflies. So what I created was a, a shabby steampunk top hat. I didn't want to go the dark color so I went with the lighter colors and let me just share with you the actual flowers that I used on the project. I used quite a lot um, of st uh, different types. So the first one is a spray. And I'll have all the links to these flowers on my blog and it'll be in the description box below. But I used one of the sprays here. And then I used these pink curly roses. I used these one inch pastel colored roses. I used two different colors of S10s and these are the scrapbooking flowers. I used the white and then I also used the pink. I used skeleton leaves which are really thin and delicate look like this okay and then I use these fern leaves and lastly for the butterflies I use uh, actually just use the white and then I colored it with my Lindy Stamp Gang spray so those are all the iron roses flowers I used and then let me show you the actual project. And here is the top hat. I have pictures on my blog if you wanted to look at it. But here it is. And here are all the flowers that I used. Just a simple top hat. Some uh, trim I put on the edges. I distressed distressed the rim of the hat and it's just a circle and there is the butterfly that I sprayed with my Lindy Stamp Gang and I believe it was a, it was a flat Fabio T-Bird turquoise and then I also used a, a button from Prima these are some Tim Holtz gears that I used and then the Prima wood veneer clock and it comes in this set right here so I just basically got a, the clock and I cut it in half with regular scissors scissors, and it would, turned out fine and it was a nice and clean nice clean cut so I used that and there it is right there just peeking out the spray um, has a little coil, wire coil. What I did, I uh, stretched it out and then I just shaped it into a heart. And then in the back here you can see the skeleton leaves. There are the fern leaves, the spray that I spread out, the one inch flowers, the S10s, the curly rose, and the butterfly. So that, there is my top hat. And um, here are my dimensions. I just pretty much made it up. I didn't look at a tutorial, but I did see several projects with the shape of the top hat. So basically my measurements are for this size right here. Uh, the It measures four and a half inches by ten and a half inches. And then on both sides I scored half an inch. And I'd, I'm just using some Prima paper that I have from a paper pad. So again, it's four and a half by ten and a half, and I scored half inch on both sides. Okay, and then for the top part here, it's just a three inch circle, like so. I have a three inch circle punch, and then I just cut a four and a half inch circle for the bottom and that fits perfectly right there. Uh, this one I don't have a punch. I used um, my Colossal which looks like this. 
basically it's a circle template like this with little um, s slots that you run a, an exacto blade that swivels and then you know you just trace it and then you cut the two slits and then it'll cut you a really perfect circle and I use the largest um, the outer circle to make this four and a half inches okay so those are the two items that I used uh, let's see what else that's pretty much it so basically to uh, assemble this top hat on the uh, flaps that I scored the half inch I basically cut uh, crocodile teeth that look like this so basically I get the tip of the scissors and I cut all the way to the score line and then I just cut little triangles like so make sure I'm in focus it's a little tedious but you really need to do this in order for you to create a circle when you fold the piece of paper so basically you do it on both sides and I'm just going to continue and I'll be right back okay I'm back so this is what your completed sheet should look like it has um, both sides trimmed into those little triangles and what that does is it makes it easier for you to uh, make your little circles so basically I just fold it down make sure that it is scored nicely score tool make sure it's in there And I did score it before I started cutting, but I just want to make sure that it bends nicely. And I did do a similar uh, technique like this for my um, camera that I made a while back. And it's pretty much the same technique that I picked up from Maria, and she's Lolly Rot on YouTube. So basically there is the part, top of the hat right there. And then here is the three inch circle. And I used liquid glue but I'm just going to go ahead and use a regular adhesive tape. And I'm going to put that on the outside of the circle. Make sure I get adhesive everywhere. This is probably less messy than liquid glue. So that should be okay. Alright, so I have glue all around the edges. And then I basically start um, forming the paper it's nice and um, flexible, pliable. And so I just start at the edge here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's start on this side. Start on the edge and then I just start laying the teeth on the paper and making that circle. Oops, sorry. Just laying one teeth at a time. One tooth at a time. <laughs> and that's what it looks like on the inside. Almost done. Oh wait, darn it, I put adhesive on the wrong spot. 
That's okay. I'll put it here on the other side. Retard. Okay. Now I just glued it on my, my cutting mat. Okay, let's try this again. And it's okay if you can see the um, the seam of the hat right here because that is where I laid the um, the flower so it could hide the seam. This should be good. Just press it. I'll just go over it with a liquid glue underneath so I can get a, get that paper flushed. Okay, so basically that's the hat and then I would just put adhesive on the bottom right there so that it would create the um, complete hat. For this one, I'll just use liquid glue. Let me just do this one real quick. Here, I'll just put the glue on the little pieces of paper. Okay, and then just kind of eyeball it and center it on your hat. So that's pretty much it. Then I'll just let it um, let the glue dry. You could use hot glue too if you want, so that it'll dry a lot faster. And that is the hat. Let me zoom out. Really easy. And again, this seam right here, you can cover it with ribbon or trim, and then just uh, put your sprays or embellishment to cover that seam and then I just went and put trim around the edges just to make it neater and that is how I created the top hat okay so I hope you guys found this tutorial um, helpful and that you come and join the I'm Roses challenge to win some I'm Roses flowers okay thanks for watching bye